Hello, this is Fiona O'Rourke. I'm going to talk about the women writers that have inspired me. I'm starting in Wexford with Kat Hogan and Mary Macaulay. Kat Hogan you'll find on Twitter at Kitty Kat Hogan. And this little picture of a cat just represents Kat. She's an author and screenwriter and also a course facilitator and mentor. Mary Macaulay is a fine proofreader and editor from Wexford and she also writes a blog called Letters from an Irish Editor where you will find all the list of festivals in Ireland. Mary is also a very fine writer and I know that for a fact because I've read her work. These two women are very inspirational writers in Wexford and there are the Annam Cara Amaze ballerinas which is Margaret Dolly from Luxembourg, Tracy Kelly from England, Melanie Veenstra from Amsterdam and Connemara. Although these are not famous authors, I think it's very inspirational to include women writers who are enjoying the craft of writing and it's not always about being published. It's about writing community and actually enjoying the act of writing. And you will hear of these fine writers because I'm sure of it. Their work is amazing and eventually you will have their books on your bookshelves. Here is another female writer from, well, Dublin, Betty's Town, The World, Anne MacDonald. She has a lovely book of poetry coming out very soon, Crow's Book, Crow's Book, sorry, which will be launched on the 18th of March, which is one of these Feast of the Goddess Day, I think it is something like that, the day after St. Paddy's Day anyway. Watch out for Anne MacDonald's lovely book, Crow's Books, which is coming out very soon. She is very inspirational because she's extremely hardworking and she is also very supportive of other writers as well. So you will be hearing a lot more about Anne MacDonald. Next, um, moving on to Dorothy Parker. So imagine being compared to Dorothy Parker. Someone said this to me years ago, and that's when I wasn't writing. You know, it was before I'd started writing. So I think it was maybe just because I'm a cheeky bitch that I was compared to her. I'm not really sure. But she's an extremely, um, what's the word? I don't know, just inspirational in her short stories and her reviews and critical essays, her poetry. Um, you would probably know her from very famous phrases that have been coined, like, I will just read one to you now. Bear with me, please. News item, sorry. Men seldom make passes at girls who wear glasses. So that was one of Dorothy Parker's. She also said things like, if all the girls at the Yale prom were laid end to end, I wouldn't be at all surprised. She was very, very witty. Um, here is one of her fine poems, resume. Razors pain you, rivers are damp, acids stain you, and drugs cause cramp. Guns aren't lawful, nooses give, gas smells awful, you might as well live. So these... This collection was actually found in a second-hand bookshop in Wexford, home of my writing. Lastly, I'm just going to say thanks to Women Allied NI for putting this together. Um, it's an amazing writing community. And this International Women's Day 2021 wouldn't be the same without Women Allied NI. Um, if you are friends with uh, a woman writer, if you are a next door neighbour to a woman writer, if there's a woman writer in your family and they say they are going to do some writing, the best thing you can do is and bring them a wee cup of tea. Okay, thank you and happy International Women's Day.